السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعا وأرنا الباطل باطلا وزغنا اجتنابه وأدخلنا برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين آمين يا رب العالمين uh, Welcome everybody for uh, um, uh, our last part of uh, Fiqh uh, al-Tahara and uh, alhamdulillah we've covered uh, most of the chapter today we're just going to go through the last part of Fiqh al-Tahara which is uh, al-hayd wa nifas which is menstruation and uh, and uh, postpartum bleeding and uh, uh, as usual we like to uh, do some review inshallah so yesterday we covered um, uh, uh, izalatun najasa Right, removing najasat, removing impurities, um, and we mentioned a couple of ways. Do you guys remember how many ways we mentioned? Who can tell me how many ways of removing a najas? Hmm? So we have another number one, good, like just sprinkling. That's one, and that's done like for like the 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 like the like maybe like the the vomit of the small baby who doesn't eat food, or the urine of the baby that doesn't eat food. Uh, what else? So that's the the, uh, the sprinkling. Yeah, salat seven washes with uh, with dirt, and that's for we said for the yeah dog and the pig, and then uh, pretty much we said everything else. We said everything else. Uh, you wash until it's gone. Yeah, there was a, a an opinion uh, a narration of Imam Ahmad about uh, seven washes, but we said. Um, there's another, uh, one of the interesting things about Madhab Imam Ahmad, it was never meant to be a Madhab actually. And, uh, you know, uh, Imam Ahmad didn't actually write a book of fiqh, right? And, uh, you know, he, all his students gathered his narrations, okay? And so then uh, one alim came and gathered all of them. And what happened is there was a lot of different riwayat, narrations from Imam Ahmad. And so you'll find a lot of uh, uh, different riwayat in the, in the Hanbali Madhab, more than any other Madhab. So then uh, uh, others came after and they said, well, let's find all the usul of Imam Ahmad and see which ones match his usul. And so uh, in, in, if you go into the advanced books of, of the Hanabila, uh, uh, you know, they'll say, oh, uh, there's this riwayat, this is the main riwayat, the popular riwayat that goes with his uh, usul. And then there is, uh, he has another uh, opinion, another riwayah, right? And sometimes they will use that. And sometimes they don't know which one is the strongest, right? And uh, uh, for example, in this, in, this, uh, in this case, there is one riwayah that says seven washes without dirt. And others say one wash is enough. Uh, uh, or one wash is enough, minimum, uh, uh, until the najas is gone, right? And they said the dalil is easy. The dalil is the Arabi, the Bedouin that came in and he urinated in the masjid. And they said, Prophet said, throw one bucket of water. Well, it was enough. Type one bucket of water doesn't clean it, two buckets. Okay, well, until it, it's, it's cleaned. Type, Jameel. Type, question now. If a drop of blood falls on my shirt, right, my drop of blood, and your drop of blood, uh, can I pray with it? Yalla, let's apply our fiqh now. Yeah, like, uh, you know, you, you cut your hand and it, the drop falls on your shirt. Huh? According to what we learned last week. Huh? Yeah, one drop, yeah, ikhwan. Yani it's qalil. Huh? You can pray. We said yu'fa. Okay, it is, it, is, it is permitted, it's excused. What small blood falls from a human or an animal that you're allowed to eat as long as it's not on. I'm not going to tell you because it's the next question. So you can pray, right? You can pray. Like, Jamil. So one drop. But if a drop from a, a lion falls, he's najis. We can't eat him, so then you can't pray. Wadah? Okay, Jamil. What if it falls in my water? Into your drop of blood falls in your water. So here we said, no. As if it falls from, from yourself or any animal that is tahib, if it falls into your wa uh, water or food, no. But it falls on your... Uh, you know, on your cheesecake. It just, do you throw the whole thing? Huh? Yeah, you can just remove the piece. That piece, and that's it. Yeah? Okay. Um, Good. This is the important part of fiqh, to actually apply it. Okay. Uh, how about, are consumable liquid intoxicants tahir? 
يعني liquid intoxicants like alcohol and other things like that. Are they tahir? And if, if someone dripped, uh, spilled alcohol on me, can I pray? Hmm? No, they're not, right? They're, they're najis, you cannot pray with them. Mumtaz. And is the urine of a cow tahir? Huh? Hmm? طب إحنا قلنا كامو النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وياه حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث العرانيين I I believe that's their name right uh, 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 those people that that uh, المهم يعني um, النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم told the people to drink from the urine and the leban طيب would the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم tell us to drink something نجس آه لا طيب so here, the, the bowl, al ibil, the urine of the camel, is what? It's tahir, it's pure. Tamam. But my question is, is the urine of a cow tahir? Huh? Why, why the camel and not the... Hmm? So we said, the urine, that's why review is good. The urine, the sperm, the milk, okay? Of all the animals that you can eat, tahir. Yani, just like you, inta. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, yani, uh, not like you, because our urine is not tahir. But uh, the, the, the urine, the, the, the feces, the... Because the Nabi Sallam used to pray in the, in the areas of the camels. But if it was najis, would he pray there? He wouldn't pray there, right? Fa, fa, uh, the urine, the, the, the sperm, the milk, of all the animals that you can eat, is what? Is tahir. So if you're a farmer or you own a farm, okay, and some of it got on your shirt... You can still pray, you're fine. Okay, it might be, you might consider it disgusting, you might remove it, that's fine. Okay, but can you pray or can you not? That's the question. This is the important part uh, uh, that, that fiqh helps us distinguish. Wadah, everyone's good? Alas, okay. It's good that we do a review because otherwise these things pass as type. Today we want to cover Kitab uh, al Bab al Hayd wal Nifas, right? Uh, menstruation and some called Nifas Lokia. Uh, which is basically the blood that comes after birth. طيب. Someone might say, well, uh, you know, do we need to know this? Yes, some of the ulama said it's, 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 uh, it's wajib for the men also to know this. For the women it's wajib, but also for the men because they're going to be married and they have daughters, etc. So they need to know this. Um, and because uh, especially when a person is married, they need to know ahkam al-hayd wa nifas They have to know these things. Are we going to go in depth? No. But يعني, it, it's good to, to know the... And the interesting thing about Kitab uh, al in the Hanbali Madhab, it's actually, um, uh, it's, 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 it's probably the most complicated, uh, uh, one of the most complicated chapters in, in, in uh, probably in Ibadat, okay? Especially in the Hanabi, because they're very technical about, especially how she knows her, her, her Ada, right? Her Ada, her, her, her actual like, um, uh, um, I guess cycle. How will she determine it? They're a bit strict on that, tamam. But inshallah, we'll go over the, uh, the 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 chapter and we'll talk about maybe what some of the madhab said that it's they're a bit more lenient on how to determine her her adad. That's probably the most complicated part. Inshallah, we'll discuss. Type. Bismillah. So uh, first, we have to define al hayd. Al hayd, uh, um, uh, uh, which is menstruation. Tabaan. This is something that you, here in school you will study it. You will study in biology, probably bio 20 in junior high, high school. Uh, tamam. Uh, and tabaan, this is something uh, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the woman with. And this is something that is needed for childbirth. And actually what menstruation is, uh, uh, probably two things. Preparation for, for, uh, for, for childbirth, okay, to receive the, 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 the egg of the sperm. And also purification of the woman. Right, so you, if you actually go into the bio, biology of this, a lot of toxins and other things are released from the body, right? And so it's something that actually uh, 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 cleanses her body and, and, and purify her. In some other like religions and stuff, they see it like this is the curse of woman or, or a curse of God on woman or something like that. Yani, kalam fadi. So al hayd or menstruation is the flow of blood from the womb of the woman who has attained the age of puberty. And this happens after al bulugh, right? Um, uh, it is a period that occurs in, in noble cycles that may help in planning for children. Yeah, so what happens, every woman has a cycle. Now what makes this bab complicated? What makes bab al-hayd complicated? Is because, um, you know, every woman has a different cycle. Every woman, uh, have, even some women have their cycle changes throughout their life, right? And so uh, they can change. Uh, uh, and it's not just one type of blood that can come out. 
there's different kinds of blood that can come out and there'll be different colors, right? And so that's why it can make this chapter a little bit uh, 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 difficult. Tamam? We said that basically the woman, okay, uh, uh, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created her is that her, uh, uh, her, her uh, um, you know, her rahim, right? It's, it, 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 it creates like a lining, right? Um, and then it's preparing for, uh, uh, for, for childbirth, right? If childbirth doesn't happen, then that lining has to come out of the body. And that's what the menstruation is. It comes out. If she becomes pregnant, then there's no menstruation, right? And those who are married know that, that if uh, one of the signs of pregnancy is that the, the cycle stops, that the cycle uh, stops, right? And usually they say the, the whole cycle is 28 days. You know, the first is the, is the actual menstruation where the blood comes out. Then there's uh, purity and then there's ovulation. The ovulation is basically the time, the best time for the woman to, be, to become pregnant uh, uh, um, during her cycle. Type. Jimmy, uh, another word we need to understand is al-istihada, or we call the woman that is bleeding that way, al-mustahada. What's al-mustahada? Al-mustahada is the one, according to the madhab, that bleeds more than 15 days. Why 15 days? We're going to say, we're going to know later that the maximum amount of 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 uh, of, hayd, of the cycle for uh, uh, for women in the in the madhab is 15 days so they say any blood that's past 15 days it will be considered what istihada it's dam fasid yani it's it's not uh, part of the uh, uh, the the, uh, the menstrual blood it's different blood right and the woman knows like most women can tell the difference between the menstrual blood and the non menstrual blood right it's istihada is a type of a marad it's a type of a sickness Right? And blood comes out, and it's not actually uh, a menstrual blood. So, al mustahada, when you say, say mustahada or al istihada, is that blood uh, uh, that's not menstrual blood. If it's after 15 days, uh, we know for sure it's, 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 uh, it's, meant, it's, it's uh, ist, uh, istihada blood. And sometimes it can happen within those 15 days. We'll explain, inshallah, uh, how that happens. طيب. And then we have the third word that we need to know, the third uh, definition is an nifas. When nifas, uh, is what is basically the the blood that comes after birth so after the woman gives birth uh, she has a period of of, of blood okay and usually we'll, we'll talk about it it's about 40 days maximum 40 days maximum four days it can be less than that so that's uh, th so those are kind of the the three kind of bloods that we have here uh, al hayd menstrual blood al istihala which is like a, a type of a sickness blood uh, and uh, an nifas is the blood that comes after that comes after birth. Okay, we need to know keep those words in mind, inshallah. Okay, some some foundations in the madhab that we need to know. So I'm going to mention five rules, and I want you to keep them in mind. Number one, they say that there's no menstruation with pregnancy. So if a woman is pregnant, she can't be she can't. We we just talked about it biologically, it's not possible. If you're pregnant, then basically there shouldn't be any menstrual blood, right? Because Menstrual blood is a proof that there was no ovulate, uh, there was no, uh, yani, uh, uh, yani the, the egg did not attach, okay, in her rahim, uh, and there's no pregnancy. Tamam? So pregnancy is a proof, uh, and so when the, when the menstrual blood comes down, it's khalas. Now you know that there's no pregnancy. Tamam? So someone feels like I'm pregnant, and then menstrual blood comes down, then that's proof that she's not pregnant. So there's no menstruation with pregnancy, number one. Uh, number two, there's no uh, menstruation after the age of 50. This is the opinion in the madhab. Other madhab went up to even 60. Um, biologically, it's hard to determine, but I don't know anybody that goes above 60. So even like in, in, the, in, 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 in the science, that's the, like between 50 to 60. Tamam? Uh, one thing to know that when it comes to al-hayd, the ulama, right, uh, they, they, they see what's around them, right? So they ask, okay, well, old woman, uh, we don't know any woman. Yeah, the, the guy is a jurist, he's a faqih, he's a, uh, he's a qadi. No woman ever came and asked or, or mentioned that it happened after 50. So they said, 50 is the maximum. But can these change over time? What do you guys think? They can change, right? They can change depending on the DNA, the biology of people, the, the bi'a, right? Um, uh, just like, uh, um, you know, al-bulugh changes, right? Al-bulugh used to happen earlier, maybe back in the day. Now, it probably, so for some women, it takes time. Why? Because of the hormonal changes, right? Um, a lot of this has to do with hormones. And now we're eating a lot of junk. Uh, our hormones are being, uh, you know, uh, affected in so many ways. Tamam. So these things can change. Type. So we said no menstruation with pregnancy, no menstruation after 50, or let's just say that age between 
50 and 60. Uh, it's mentioned here that only Hanbalis hold this opinion, right? Uh, you might say, what if she has blood after 50? Well, the Hanabal will say this is istihada. This is that blood that is not uh, from the menstrual cycle, okay? And usually the woman can tell. Usually the woman can tell, and medically you can technically tell as well. But we have some more tools nowadays to, to uh, determine that. Um, طيب, and number three here, uh, there's no menstruation before the age of nine. Why? Because there's a narration Aisha said that, that uh, if the jariya reaches the, the nine, like the young lady reaches nine, then, uh, 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 you know, then th that's the earliest for her to be, to be, uh, um, I guess, baligha, uh, uh, right? Uh, uh, pubescent, right? And so if she, if she bleeds before the age of nine, so they will, they will, uh, uh, it will not be considered uh, height. It will not be considered menstrual blood. So if she, if, if she sees blood before the age of nine, then it's probably something else, maybe istihada or something else or some other sickness. Okay, طيب. And of course, يعني, can, I don't know, has anybody heard of any girl reaching purity before nine? I don't know, يعني, I, I don't know. I know there's cases of women of, or girls who became pregnant at a really young, young age, but I don't know anything before nine. Maybe someone can Google it, but I mean, probably even these days, probably higher now. Uh, probably it's rare for even someone. Nowadays, you would say probably 11, 12, 13, right? Something like that. Type. Jamil. So it's important to know uh, the fuqaha here, fiqh. So is this something we have to follow? Well, if now uh, uh, we have proof that the, the minimum age went up, then khalas. We follow the, the, that. So that's, that's how fiqh is flexible. When someone tells you that, you know, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're not allowed to, uh, uh, or, or fiqh, you know, uh, it can change over time. This is not blasphemy. Uh, what they're trying to say is that these things that, that go back to the urf and the ada and the, 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 the people, these things can change because these rulings are based on the, 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 the people, right? It's not like Allah didn't, or there's no hadith specifically that says that, right? Tayyip. Um, so we mentioned those three rules, no menstruation with pregnancy after 50 and before the age of nine. Type Jamil. Uh, the second uh, uh, rule that we need to know is the minimum period is one day and one night. The, it can't be less. So uh, it gives the example here. So if you see blood at 12 p.m., then it stops. That is not menstrual blood. Because the menstrual blood, the minimum uh, that it can be, it can be uh, one day. If you look up now, uh, they will tell you that it's between three and seven. Okay? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in the hadith that the ada of the woman is six to seven. Subhanallah. Right? <laughs> no medical knowledge. But this is something that is, uh, yani, common amongst women. If you took, uh, يعني, uh, you know, 500 women and you average them, maybe that will be the average, six or seven. تمام? So, but the minimum is one day and one night. Okay? One day uh, and one night. So the minimum of a period is one day. طيب. What's the maximum of a period? It's 15 days. Remember, we mentioned this before. So the maximum uh, for a woman to have her period is how, how long? 15 days. The maximum is, is 15 days. So now we know the minimum is one day and the maximum is 15 days. These are very important rules to understand now when we talk about how uh, uh, the rulings of, of, of height. Okay, so we said the minimum of the period is one and the maximum is, is 15. طيب. Now we're going to talk about, uh, so the most common is six or seven. We mentioned that the most common is six or seven. So minimum one, maximum 15, and the average is six or seven. The average uh, of, of, of uh, of, uh, of the period of woman is six or seven. طيب. Minimum period of purity between two separate menstruation is 13 days. So the minimum period of tahara now, we're not talking about al hayd of tahar, of, of, of tuhr, right? Uh, uh, the minimum pe uh, period of purity, okay, the minimum time frame of, of that a woman is, 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 uh, is, uh, is, uh, yani is pure, is tahara, is 13 days, right? This is the minimum time. Taban, it could be uh, as long as, you know, if you have one day of, of menstrual cycle, then the rest would be uh, um, um, pure. So look what it says here. So if she does, so she sees blood for two days and then it stops for 10 days and starts again on the 11th, uh, it would be considered part of the previous one and not a new one. Why? Because we said the minimum has to be 13. The minimum time that she is tahira is, is 13 days. Tamam? And is there a maximum for tuhur? In the books of fiqh, you will see that they say there's no maximum. There's no maximum. Why? Because actually her, her period can be cut off unknowingly, usually at an at older age, but it can be cut off. So there's no real maximum of, of tuhur. But the minimum of tuhur is 13 days. Um, there's a narration um, uh, uh, 
from the Qadi Shurayh, who was at the time of Ali, radiallahu anhu, a woman came to him and she said that her husband had divorced her. When, when a woman is divorced, she has to wait how long? Thalath Quru, right? Three like cycles, okay? And she said, so a month had passed by and she said, now I'm free of my iddah's over, right? And so he said, how? She said, my, my, uh, my ada is one day. My ada is one day. Okay, is that possible? You tell me, you guys tell me. Let's do some math here. If we said the minimum is 13, okay? Can she have, she has to have three periods in that month. So if the minimum period is one day, okay? So you have day one period, 13, she's pure. How many days is that? 14. Okay, and then she has another period, that's 15. And then another 13 days of purity. 28. Lala, 28. And then on the 29th day, she has another period. خلص. That's it. And so her idda actually finished in one whole month. Subhanallah. So it's actually possible. And Shurah told her, you need to bring me three, uh, witnesses. And so she brought witnesses and, and خلص, he judged on that. He judged on that. Um, this is a rare case. تمام, يعني, uh, biologically, is it possible? Uh, maybe there's cases. But in the time of, of Ali, عنه, this was one of the cases. And so and this is where they got this, uh, the, the minimum of, of, of a hayd is one day. But that's rare. يعني. Usually, like we said, it's six and seven. It's six uh, and seven. طيب. Yeah, and we said the maximum is not, uh, 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 is not determined. We don't know how long it can be forever. خلص, she has a period and خلص, she's pure forever. So we don't know the maximum. Uh, طيب. Let's start with some rulings. So a woman cannot pray or fast while on her, on her uh, menstrual cycle. So once she's on her menstrual cycle, obviously she does not uh, 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 pray or fast. Does she have to make up her prayer? طيب. Does she have to make up her fast? Yes, she has to make up uh, her fast. Um, Jamil, okay. طيب. If a man and woman have uh, intercourse while she is on her menses, okay, so now is, is the man allowed to, have, uh, to be intimate with his wife while she's on, in, in her cycle? No. طيب. What if that happens? Uh, hmm? so, there has to, so there is a kafara. Right? So Ibn Abbas mentioned that the kafara, yani the, the, the penalty for that, is that he has to pay a dirha, a dinar, or half a dinar. A dinar or half a dinar, okay, kafara. Just you have, you have kafara of siyam and, and things like that. Tamam. Or when you, ha, when you take an oath, there's a kafara. There's a kafara expiation also for, for this. So if a, if a man has intercourse with his wife in, uh, 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 in her menses, then he has to pay a dinar or half a dinar. It's, it's up to him. He can choose whatever is easier for him. Um, uh, uh, and a dinar is about, I don't know if this is, this is uh, pretty recent, 4.25 gram, uh, grams of gold. I don't know how much money that is, okay, but you can Google it. Uh, so that's a dinar, about 4.25 grams uh, of gold. You can probably Google it right now and figure out how, how many Canadian dollars that is. He can choose either amount. Uh, uh, e e they said even if he does it with protection, even if he does it with protection, it's not allowed and he would have to pay that kafara. Does the woman pay or the man pays? Huh? Uh, <laughs> the man, right? Unless she's the one that, she's the one that forced him or that got him in or whatever. Type. Uh, how about foreplay? Is it permissible? They say yes, foreplay is permissible. And we have a hadith of Rasulullah that he would, that he would do everything except uh, yani, using the, the private part, yani, the woman's private part. And yani, as long as it's covered and they don't go to that area, they're allowed to do anything, everything else. Yani, everything else is permissible between the husband uh, and wife uh, during that time. طيب. Okay, this is where we get, and I need you guys to focus with me on this one. So. What, the most important for, part for, for, uh, for a woman is to determine her ada. We said that every woman is different. So, so how are you going to determine your ada? How, how are you going to know? Uh, the other madhahab, they said, well, she just, she, uh, you know, when the first time she sees blood, so now we know she's, uh, she's, uh, she hit puberty, and then she just sees how long it is, and that's it. The Hanabli said no, because they have a narration, the Prophet uh, he said, uh, uh, يعني, to follow your quru, and quru is the plural. And he said the, the least of a plural is what in Arabic? In Arabic, what's the least of plural? The least number. Three, three. So the least. And so they said she has to uh, uh, confirm her ada through three different cycles. Okay. So what she does, and this is what makes the the I guess the Hanabila the Hanbali method a bit more 
uh, 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 difficult for the woman because they say that she needs to get a, a, a similar number of days, three months in a row, then she knows this is her ada. Consistently, right? Because what can happen, maybe she has five days this month. Then the next cycle, there's 10. And then the next cycle, there's 20. But now we have a problem, right? We have a problem. And so this can happen. This is not the common uh, thing, but it can happen. So, they, they, so then they have ways to determine. Now, what they, what they say is, and I want you to focus with me on this, we have, <coughs> this is al-mubtadi'a. We call her al-mubtadi'a, the beginner, the one that doesn't know her ada. She just hit puberty. She wants to know. We call her what? Al-mubtadi'a, the beginner. طيب. The beginner can be mumayiza uh, or ghair mumayiza. Mumayiza or ghair mumayiza. Ish, yani, mumayiza, she, she can distinguish the kind of blood. Because a, Nabi, a woman came to, 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 to him and she told him, you know, I'm bleeding after my, my, uh, my, my cycle, yani my, my known time of, uh, of, of menstruation. You know, he said, uh, he said that's, uh, uh, you know, that's istihada because the, the menstrual blood, uh, it's known by its thickness and its dark color. So it's black color, right? It's a black color, it's thickness, and it has a smell. There's a smell to it. It's known. The women know that, right? Fa, fa, there's the, the woman that, that is mumayyiza, she can tell. So blood comes out, you know, it's like dark black and has a smell. And then it changes. It's another blood. So she can tell that other blood, okay, that's istihada, right? Especially if it passes the 15 days because we said the maximum is 15 days. Tamam? So we have uh, mubtadi'a, mumayyiza, and we have mubtadi'a, ghir mumayyiza. She, she cannot tell. For her, we have a, a different uh, ruling. Type. So what do the Hanabila say? They say this. Because now we have to talk about salah and not salah. Does she pray? Does she fast? Does she make up fasts? For this is the, for the beginner. The one who has her ada, she knows her rules. Yani a woman now determines her ada. She knows it's eight days. She knows in those eight days, she doesn't pray. She doesn't fast. And then she makes up those fasts. Everybody agree on that? That's easy. Tamam? But what about the one that's starting? This is what we're talking about. The one who's starting, she wants to determine. So what do the Hanabila say? They say, well, since the minimum is how, long, how many days? What's the minimum? One day. If the minimum is one day, so yaqeenan that one day is what is hayd. So they say for that day, she, she doesn't pray or fast. Okay, cool. Type. Now the blood is still coming. So what they say, the Hanabal, they say, she, 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 uh, if the blood's still coming, she makes wudu and prays and fasts. You know, while the blood is coming. Okay? And she keeps doing that. Okay? Uh, and, and she does it with the niyyah of, of istibaha. Right? She's not removing, uh, uh, she, because we don't know, is this istihada or, or is this uh, 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 um, uh, hayd? Right? Is it istihada or hayd? Remember, al-hayd, you cannot pray in it. As we're going to see now, al-istihada, you can. You just have to wash it and you can pray with it. That non-menstrual blood, you, can, you just wash it and you can pray with it. Tamam? So now, they say, the first day agreed, she has to, she's not allowed to pray or fast. Good. But now the other days, it could be uh, hayd or stihada, right? So what does she do? Uh, she, she, she makes wudu and she, and she prays and fasts, you know, until it stops, right? And then she, 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 will follow the, uh, she will do the same thing, the next cycle and the next cycle. And she'll take note. Okay, if I got a pattern now, seven days or eight days or nine days, good. Okay, now when she's done the third month, she knows it's nine days. Mathalan, the first month, it was nine days and then the blood stopped. And then the second month, it was nine days, then the blood stopped. The third month, it was nine days, and the blood stopped. So now what? What's her, what's her ada? What's her period? Nine days. Okay. طيب. Now what does she have to make up? If there was any fasting that was done in those three months, she has to make them up. Okay? So in this case, um, let's say the second month was Ramadan. The second month was Ramadan. The first month, مَفِي مُشْكِلَةً But the second month was Ramadan. How many days does she have to make up now? Nine days, right? The first day that was 100% sure, and then the other days, eight days that we weren't sure about. Okay? So she wasn't sure about those eight days until she, she got her pattern, and now, okay, خلاص, now I know that I have a pattern now of nine days, and then she, she makes up those days. Wadah? That's the one that can, uh, that, that has a, يعني, that has a, a continuous or similar pattern. Type, uh, and this one usually, uh, she can determine the, uh, the blood. يعني, let's say that, Best case scenario, the blood just cuts on those, and that ninth day, it's the same thick, dark blood. But let's say she has nine days, and then light red blood comes out, okay? And she can tell this is not hate blood, okay? طيب. Is that part of her menstrual cycle? Well, she will do the three, 
Okay, this is the mubtadi, I remember. She will do those three, and if the same thing happens, or some, some, sometimes it doesn't happen, but the dark blood is always nine days, then khalas, it's the same thing. She knows that those nine days are, are, her, are her period, and those istihada days, she just washes it, and then she prays uh, normally. Okay? But the Hanabala here, they, they recommend to her to pray in the beginning, because it could be not hayd. It could be not hayd. Uh, one thing to, to understand also that certain things that a woman can do can change her, her cycle, right? Sometimes in age, sometimes if she takes some kind of hormonal medicine, uh, sometimes if they put uh, those, uh, um, uh, what do they call them? Um, uh, uh, there's some, some things that they can put to, to stop pregnancy, right? Um, uh, what do they call them? Birth control, yeah. So birth control, different kinds of birth control, uh, uh, um, they can actually affect also. So they can actually cause more bleeding, okay? But then it's up to her to determine what kind of bleeding is this, okay? Is this istihada? Is this haid? Now you guys see how, you know, there's a bit of work to do. So her, her haid can change. Now, the madhab, and I want to explain before I go to the notes, the madhab, when it comes to because a good question would be like, okay, well, let's say now she determines the ada, nine days, that first girl. Khalas, she knows nine days. Okay? Um, but now, uh, the, you know, the fourth month, she gets, I don't know, she gets 11 days or 12 days. But some of those days um, are like light blood. She knows it's not height. So does a tamiz, uh, uh, um, I guess, have more power over the Ada. The Hanabila, they say that the Ada has more. So if your Ada is determined, خلص, anything else you see, we consider it what? Istihada. Not menstrual. The, the Hanabila, they say the Ada, it, it, it's, it's, uh, uh, yani it's more sh stronger than the Tamiz. The Ada is more stronger than the Tamiz. The other Madahab, there's, uh, there's Khilaf here. And really, yani, I think it goes back to the woman. You know, if she did something different in her life, something changed, and there is reason to believe that her cycle might change, like I said, if she uses birth control or something else happens, then she should see. And if this is happening three months in a row now, it's so the nine, nine day girl, now the next three months, she's 12, thick blood, thick blood, thick blood, 12 days. So now she has a new what? She has a new ada. She has a new ada. This is, and it can happen. Wallahu uh, ta'ala, and the woman know. Um, طيب. Let's, let's go through, read through the notes. So, uh, determining number of days for the beginner uh, 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 and, and th for the one that can distinguish al Jameel. So she waits minimum amount of time one day and one night. We said that because the minimum yaqeen and for sure it's one day and one night. طيب. After the minimum time she bathes and prays even if she's bleeding considering herself to be pure. Okay, Remember we said that because we're not sure yet. This is the, the young girl or whoever it's her first period. So two possibilities here. We said, if it stops within 15 days, she will bathe again after it stops. So remember now that once, you're, once the bleeding stops, for you to be able to pray and fast, you have to do what? You have to do ghusl. She has to do ghusl, right? So he says here, if it stops within 15 days, because 15 is the maximum, she will bathe again after it stops. Okay? So she will bathe again after uh, uh, it stops. Type. Uh, number two, if it goes over 15 days, ah, this, is the, this is where it gets a bit uh, difficult because we said 15 is the maximum. Type. So if blood comes after 15, is it menstrual blood? According to the madhab, no. It has to be istihada. It has to be istihada. So they say if it goes over 15 days, then it's not menses. It's not, uh, uh, it's not hayd. It's not menses um, uh, after 15 days. But istihada. But istihada. If she notices some differences in the blood during the period, she will distinguish via signs the menses blood versus the hadha blood and make note of it, okay? Color, smell, thickness, and we talked about that, right? So this is the mumayyiza. She, she can tell, uh, you know, 15 days, you know, uh, let's say she goes to 20 days. She goes to 20 days bleeding, okay? And she can tell, you know, after the, the, the 15th day, the rest is light blood, or after the 14th day, the rest is all blood. The, so let's say she, ble uh, she bleeds 20 days. 14 days thick, dark, smelly blood, and then uh, the other uh, six days, it's light blood, and so she's mumayiz, as she can tell. So now her period, we say 14 here. And then she does it again, if it's the same, 14 and 14. Tamam? Um, so she stops praying during the distinguished blood period in the second month, right? Yeah, so now that she knows it's going to be 14, in those 14 now, she doesn't, 
she doesn't pray because she knows those are 14 and then she waits for the third month and then she can confirm uh, she can confirm her her cycle so she repeats this exercise for three months we said right she's trying to determine her habitual number of days for menses so he gives an example here so example first time five days second uh, 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 five days third five days so let's say one month uh, one cycle five days second five days third five days she determines that her menses are five days after the third time if she fasted an obligatory fast during one of these months as we mentioned before she must now make up five days because her fasting did not count even though she did fast because she was not sure remember we said she prays and fasts because she's not sure until she determines her ada. Uh, uh, so now she will stick to her habit from now on okay خلص, that's her period of uh, five days خلص, that's it طيب, someone might say, well, what if it starts on a different day in a different month? Because usually for the woman, she knows, مثلاً, the third day of the month, usually when it starts. The, the, the Hanabali, they don't put too much emphasis on that. They say, خلص, it's five days. So if usually it comes on the third day, but this month it came on the fifth day, just count five days from the, from the first time the blood comes down. طيب, so she will stick to her habit. If, if, uh, if it comes less than three times, then it will not be counted. So they say, مثلاً, it has to happen three times. Uh, <coughs> Wallah ta'ala alam, yani, let's say it happens two times and then the, the third month is like one day off, one difference. It's around that time, okay? So she doesn't really have to do it um, yani, another three times now. She'll start that. But she'll have an idea that it's about five or six days. Tamam? So if it's like five, five, and then six days, okay, maybe she counted wrong or something happened. It's, she knows that it's about five or six days, okay? And then on the fourth month, she will, she will figure it out. So yani, you don't have to be yani, too, too uh, uh, technical about it. Type. Now the issue comes, if she cannot determine the difference between men's blood and istihad, the one that's غير مميزة. I cannot, she can't tell, and the blood, she doesn't, she can't tell. I don't know if, 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 if medically we can tell, I'm not sure if, if you can do that. But, يعني, you should be able to tell from the color, the smell, the thickness. Type. So how about this one that can't tell? One time it's like, she bleeds for like 20 days, and then, you know, 20 days, and then maybe 17 days, and she can't tell which one is hayd, which one is... So they say she does the minimum, one day and one night, and repeats it three times. And if it's still unable to determine the difference, then she will stick to the common days. So they say, خلص, she cannot determine, okay, this is not the common thing, but let's say one girl, she cannot determine how many days, and it's, it's all over the place. They say she goes to the average, right? And this is, we get this from the Hadith of Prophet She goes to the average six or seven days, and they say she goes back and, and she also asks the relatives of her family. Because your, 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 your relatives affect yours as well. And usually it's very similar to the mother, to the sister, to the... It's similar usually. Tamam? So uh, this is referring to those who, who, uh, whose blood goes over 15 days. Tamam? They can't tell. They can't tell the difference. Tamam? Because remember we said if it's over 15 days now, we don't know. Uh, it's still blood and she cannot tell the difference. Okay? So example, first month she sees blood for 20 days, of which 17 are thick and dark. She will wait uh, uh, first day and night, then take a shower and consider herself clean for the rest of the 20 days. She will repeat this again in the second and third month. If the fourth month she, uh, she will consider six or seven days as her habit, so she, she can't tell. This keeps happening, 20 days, 20 days, or 17 days. She can't tell. So then she will go with the six or seven until something shows up. And yeah, let's say now, after like two months, uh, after six months, it shows up that khalas is always eight, and she goes to eight. Okay, so maybe now she can determine. But initially, that's what she does. She goes with six uh, or seven. Type. If a woman has bleeding outside her regular habit, she should consider, she should only consider her habit. Remember, we said that the habit is stronger than, than distinguishing the kind of blood in the madhab. Okay, so if she has a habit of five and then there's extra uh, uh, um, blood and it looks like it's similar to the, to the menses blood. Okay. Should she go with the extra two days or should she stick to the ada? The madhab says stick to the ada. Okay? Like I said, unless there's a reason to believe that something she did to her body or she's taking some medicine, right? Uh, some women like um, who, مثلا, they want to go Umrah or Hajj, they take these pills, right? And they, they block the, 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 the cycle for a few days or something, right? And then, مثلا, her bleeding is like crazy or it affects her whole cycle. Tamam? But if, if you're expecting something like that, then, then you should consider that. And, uh, uh, because that, that's, you're expecting it to change your ada. Tamam? طيب. So conclusion, we said that habit is stronger than the tamiz, uh, 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 which is d d distinguishing the type of blood. 
right? If you have a ada, stick with that unless there's a reason not to. So, and we said there's three types of bleeding woman. One who is less than 15 days, right? She sticks to her number of days uh, uh, based on the, you know, the, the, the common denominator, like if it's 777, she sticks to that, okay? Then we have one who's over 15 days and can distinguish. And then one who is over 15 days and cannot distinguish. Why 15 days? We, we said because 15 days is the maximum. So number two, the one who is over 15 days and she can distinguish the type of blood, then she, 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 she figures out, okay, the, uh, I, I bled 20 days, but 13 of them are thick, seven are light. So her ada is what? 13. The number is 13. But the one who doesn't, who can't tell, okay, she bleeds 20 days, but she can't tell. The blood's like very similar. Okay, then she what? She sticks to six or seven until something clear shows up for her uh, later uh, in the future. طيب. Istihada rulings. We're doing good with time. طيب. Al-istihada, we said, is the blood uh, that comes uh, after the 15 days. تمام? The blood that comes after 15 days. It's different than the, it's not dark, it's not thick, it's not, it doesn't have that same smell as the menses blood. So, okay, what if the woman has that? She doesn't pray? No, she does pray. So they say she must wash the area every time something comes out. So she washes it. Every time, she wraps something uh, obviously around it so it doesn't bleed like a pad or something. And then she does wudu for, for every salah if, if blood comes out. So let's say مثلا, some blood comes out. This is istihada blood, not menses blood. Okay, she washes it and she makes wudu. Nothing comes out, خلاص, she's fine. But if something comes out, she does wudu again. She washes again and she does wudu again. So as long as she renews her wudu within a new salah time, she doesn't have to make wudu again if something comes out. So let's say now um, it's asr time. Uh, uh, it's Maghrib time now, and uh, you know, she has istihada. She washes it, she makes wudu, right? And khalas, now that wudu is enough for her, unless she loses it some other way. And then she goes to the bathroom, or air comes out, or whatever, tamam. But otherwise, she can, uh, she, can, uh, uh, she can pray with that. What about fasting? Yeah. fasting? Yeah, she fasts, she fasts, yeah. Because this is considered like she's okay. She's okay, but she has to clean it. Um, intention should be for istibaha when doing wudu. Her intention should not be to lift her purity because it is still there. She's intending, uh, uh, she's intending herself to allow certain. Uh, yeah. So it's almost like, kind of like tamu. Your your your, your intention is al istibaha to allow you to be able to to pray and to do the other things uh, uh, that you would need for for uh, uh, um, you know like Quran and salah and other things like that. Um, طيب, it's haram to have intercourse unless he fears committing zina. Fadl, yeah. No, it wouldn't be considered pure. No, no. Because remember, Aslan, we said blood in general. Yeah, blood in general, it's not pure. Blood in general, it's not pure. And yeah, this one is probably more reason for it to not be pure. It's a good question. So, طيب, can a man have intercourse with his wife when she has istihada? The answer is no. Okay. They say unless he fears committing zina. Okay. Uh, and, and this is even like in, in general cases. Um, it's not uh, a sin in this case. If he really fears and he's going to commit zina, then he will do it. But it's it's uh, it's not permissible uh, uh, for him to to have intercourse with his wife when she's in the state of uh, istihada. Type. Let's talk about nifas and we're done. So, what is a nifas? Type. A woman becomes pregnant and then she gives birth. What happens? Usually, right after or before, maybe uh, by a bit, uh, she she starts bleeding now. So there's a bleeding, the cleaning of the rahim, right? So the maximum number of days for nifas is what? It's 40 days. The maximum amount is 40 days. Uh, and it can begin two to three days before delivery as well, and in some cases, but usually just after delivery. طيب. Question now. If the maximum is 40, can it be less? Can a woman bleed for less than 40? Yes, she can. Right? And I think for some of you from experience, you know. طيب. طيب. Let's say she bleeds for 30 days. Those 10 days... Um, is she pure for her husband, for salah, for things like that? What do you guys think? Hmm? Yes, generally yes. The Hanaba they say it's makruh to, for her husband to have intercourse that time. Karaha yani. Why? Because just in case, and it could be, it's, it could be still in the time of nifas. Um, uh, but she is considered pure. She would be considered pure. Um, uh, and she prays. Um, but they say it's, it's makruh, why? Just in case, yeah, just in case. Taib. And the last uh, uh, ruling here is that they say that the rulings of nifas are the same as al-hayd, except in two cases. All the rulings we mentioned about hayd, you can apply them 
on nifas. Like what? Like what? Like salah. She doesn't pray. What else? Psalm. She doesn't, but she has to make it uh, up, right? Uh, what else? Like uh, uh, it's not allowed to have intercourse. Same things. In nifas, there's no intercourse. Uh, also the kafara, same thing. If he does have intercourse with her during nifas, then he has to pay dinar or half a dinar of, of kafara, right? What's different? They say the idda. So if, if, a, if a husband uh, uh, divorces her wife, uh, his wife, uh, does nifas count as one of the iddas, uh, one of the, the cycles? No, it wouldn't count. That blood of nifas wouldn't count as one of the three, one of the three quru, right? Uh, because al-mutallaqat yatarabbasna bi anfusihina thalathat quru. The divorced women, they have to wait three cycles, three cycles. Tamam? So nifas wouldn't count as one of them. طبعاً her pregnant, uh, uh, her, her, her birth is her idda. Yes. But, uh, but let's say she already gave birth and she has nifas now and she's divorced. She, the, the nifas doesn't count as one of the three. Wadah? So that's one difference between them. The second difference they say that, and this is interesting, يعني, uh, they said that nifas does not prove puberty. Okay, which is interesting. Nifas does not prove pu puberty, but pregnancy does. Okay? Uh, this is one that I had trouble understanding. Uh, so we know that pregnancy, of course, pu uh, proves puberty because خلاص, it means that because for you to, to be pregnant, يعني, you need to be, to, to be able to have your period, right? Uh, but when they say that nifas does not prove puberty, usually nifas comes after, after childbirth, right? For Allah alam, يعني, what, uh, I tried to like, look it up, what they meant by that. If, so, if one of you has يعني, input about that. Uh, because usually nifas comes out af uh, after pregnancy. And if pregnancy proved puberty, then nifas should, يعني, because you, you guys understand what I'm saying? No, if, if it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it, inshallah. طيب, so, and, and with that, we conclude, uh, um, you know, Bab uh, al alhamdulillah. I think this is our ninth session. My intention, inshallah, is next week, we want to have uh, uh, like, a, uh, like a review. It's going to be like a, a, a game night, if you guys know what Kahoot is. So we'll have like questions on the board. You'll need a phone, okay, or a device, inshallah. And basically, I'll have questions up. You know, we'll have some food, inshallah. Uh, we'll have some prizes, okay. What is your job? Okay, and this is for your own benefit. And, and this is يعني, ibadah, inshallah. Is for you to review the notes. Inshallah, I'll have the notes posted with the, uh, I'll ask uh, uh, to put them up with the lectures on, on YouTube, just on the on the comments, right? We can put them on the comments or in the yeah uh, in the description. We can put the slides. Inshallah, I'll put the slides uh, uh, because they don't show up really on the on the videos. But just go over the videos. You can put it on like times two speed or go over the, the the notes. Review why? Because you're gonna benefit like that. If you come next week and you're like, yalla, let's sit down, have some, and then you're just like guessing. Is there a lot of benefit? No. The bene the real benefit comes when you sit down and review them. Review the notes, and then you come and you test yourself, and then you see, oh, mashallah, I'm 80%, I know the information, I'm 60%, okay? You'll, you'll be able to see how good you are. And also, this active recall, they call it in, 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 uh, you know, in psychology, is, is actually what strengthens your memory. Is when you study something, and then you, you test yourself, that's how you benefit, inshallah. So, يعني, um, uh, يعني, take some time, يعني, prepare, uh, uh, study it. And then next week, inshallah, we'll have some food. We'll do some uh, games. And then, you know, maybe the top one or two or three, we'll give them some prizes, bi-idhnillah. Um, uh, يعني, let other people know, inshallah, so we can, they can benefit as well. So those who, like, مثلا, missed and they want to benefit, they can still review the notes. Come, uh, we'll have the, 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 the uh, you know, the, the game night, inshallah. And we'll conclude tahara. And then the week after, we'll start with fiqh salah, inshallah. Jazakum khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.